welcome back guys now let's solve this problem <clears throat> in a certain school 20% of the students are below 8 years of age and the number of students above 8 years of age is two thirds of the number of students 8 years of age which is 48 so once you start to read this problem it, it seems to be very much complicated but it's not actually uh, so we need to solve it systematically sequentially so that you get the answer so let's let's solve it systematically and that is in a certain school, 20% of the students are below 8 years of age. So once I told you that, so so let me write below students below. So so students. So let's assume first the total number of students in the school because that that's the thing we need to form, uh, form right. We need to find that we don't know the total number of students. So let's assume let the total number of students total number of students be. Here, let 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 it is be x. So let's assume the total number of students are x. So the number of students above above so the num so the percentage of students actually above eight years of age because remember here it is they are told that twenty percent of the students are below eight years of age. So obviously the percentage of students above eight years of age will be hundred minus twenty because. 20% is already uh, below 8 years of age so the above 8 years of age will be 80% of the students right so so we know the total number of students is x so the number of students above 8 years of age will be will be 80% of the total students that is x so 80% means 80 by 100 into x this is the number of students above 80% uh, above above 8 years of age so we know that this value and there is no math actually improved in this particular part everything is told by the question we just we, j we are just organizing it according to the mathematical formula and then after that what we need to calculate and they told that the number of students above 8 years of age is two thirds of the number of students of 8 years of age so so according to this statement what we can write that this is the number this is the number of students 8 years of age this is equal to uh, equals to the number of students of 8 years of age or two third of the number of students of 8 years of age and number of students of 8 years of age is 48 because that that's also told here the number of students of 8 years of age is 48 and also it is actually this value is actually two third of this total uh, of this number of students so this is the value is two third of that so we will add the value with it so that, that that's another important region here because most of the students make mistake in this particular section because because they thought that uh, the number of students 8 of years of age is 48 so just two third of it is 48 into two thirds so they, they usually won't add 48 to it because remind you according to our previous questions and previous problem solving approaches I've already talked about that part according to the age problems also that that in this case two third of the number of students two third of the number of students this is a very important term that total number of students plus the two two third of the number of eight years of students so that's why we need to add this 48 to it and once we add everything we get a equation we need to solve uh, the x for the equation and that is going to be here let's say 80x by 100 here e equals to uh, here will be 16 plus 48 will be equals to uh, so not 16 actually 32 plus 40, 48 is equals to 8 80 here and and then we can just cut it so x equals to 100 so that's that's the value here x equals to 100 so once we get the value x equals to 100 that is the total number of students and we get the value here e so the option e is the correct option for this question so nothing rocket science about it it's very very basic you need to form the equation by getting an assumption and finally you get the answer so that's it guys and i hope that's helpful thank you